The OSC e peacekeeping mission was formed at the first additional meeting of the Conference for Security and Cooperation in Europe in Helsinki on March 24, 1992. On that day, a decision was adopted to convene a conference in Minsk on the Nagorno-Karabakh issue under the auspices of the organization. As mentioned in the decision, this would ensure an ongoing conference for the negotiation on the peaceful settlement of the conflict. By that decision, apart from Armenia and Azerbaijan, the elected representatives of Italy, Germany, France, Belarus, Russia, the United States, the Czech Republic, and Slovakia should also participate, as should the Karabakh authorities as an interested party. After the Minsk group was formed, the United Nations decided not to take part in any peacekeeping mission in Nagorno-Karabakh as a gesture of support to the OSCE's de decision. In 1994, a decision on the cooperation of Russia and the organization was adopted at the CSCE Budapest Summit. At the same time, it was decided to form a Minsk group co-chairmanship with Russia as a permanent member. In 1995, the Minsk process was headed by Sweden, from April 1996 by Finland, and from the beginning of 1997, a tripartite co-chairmanship was introduced by the Minsk group, with Russia, the U.S., and France as co-chairs. This arrangement still operates today. Since then, the peace process is conducted exclusively through the shuffle diplomacy efforts of the co-chairs. In September 1997, the Minsk group proposed a step-by-step -step solution to the conflict that was accepted by Azerbaijan and Armenia, but was not acceptable to Nagorno-Karabakh. This led to an internal crisis in Armenia, and Armenia's president, Levon der Petrosyan, was forced to resign. In November 1998, the OSCE Minsk group proposed a new basis for negotiations that envisaged the comprehensive solution of the conflict without setting any preconditions for the commencement of negotiations. This was rejected by Azerbaijan. Perhaps the greatest expectations on a Nagorno-Karabakh settlement came about as a result of the active mediation process in 2001 and the Aliyev Kocharyan meetings. The positive assessment of the talks of the presidents, first in Paris and then in Key West, gave rise to hopes for the quick resolution of the conflict. But 2001 did not yield any results either. The OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs pay regular visits to the region. The co-chairs have repeatedly stated that without the participation of Karabakh in the negotiations, the final settlement of the Karabakh conflict would be impossible. As high-ranking Russian diplomat Vyacheslav Trudnikov has said, the final settlement of the conflict in the end must satisfy the interests of the people of Karabakh. The OSCE Minsk Group's principal position is that the sides themselves must come to an agreement, and any decision acceptable for all sides will satisfy them because they are the only mediators in the negotiations. The recent involvement of the personal representatives of the Armenian and Azerbaijani presidents in the peace process is new. It is obvious that success in the Nagorno-Karabakh settlement continues to heavily depend on the productiveness of the work of the Minsk Group. Of course, each of the sides to the conflict has its own assessment and expectations from the decade-long activities of the OSCE Minsk Group.